Come on in. Let me show you what's good about today. So this house has definitely took a turn for change. Dramatically changed the inside of this house. Um, we come through and all of this is new millwork. This is all installed new MDF millwork. We took out the old oak. So this is a paint grade um, interior millwork, door casing, crown mold, window seals, baseboards, and all new doors. So installers, finished carpenters come in and literally install the whole millwork throughout the whole house. And if you look over here, this is where I was pulling off the old oak trim. Um, and this house just looks so much different already. So what we're gonna do is these walls are a finished coat. Um, so this is a finished product and we're gonna paint this light gray. Um, it was very important um, to the homeowner that this top was a 45 degree angle. So we're gonna take some time to sand that down, bondo and fill, we'll fill all the nail holes. We'll caulk all the seams. So we go through here and caulk all these seams, both on the inside and also on the outside where it hits the um, sheetrock wall. Um, so all of these nail holes will be covered up and, and filled in in order ready for the, um, the, the two coats of paint. So in here, we're gonna do semi-gloss on all the trim. Um, on these windows, they have like what they call a four-way wrap or it's full encasement around the whole window. And some of the windows will only have window seals. Um, and, and you might see that. What they refer to that is like a seal and apron. I'll show that to you. This is a full, full way wrapped um, exterior window. This is a hollow core. Um, this is just a six panel door. So it's a wood grain. You can order these doors in either smooth or wood grain. But these have a real heavy wood grain to them. Um, and the customer had wanted that and, and selected that. Um, and so you can kind of see a little bit of a wood grain pattern um, in the door. Um, and these are all new doors and they have a primer on them and they're ready for two coats of paint. So after we sand them, seal them, um, we'll come back and paint those um, doors. And they'll match the same as all the casement and all the, um, the baseboards and so forth. Look at this window seal. This is what they refer to as a windowsill with an apron, okay? I'm not sure why it's called that, but that's just what the terminology is, is it has a windowsill and, and an apron. And then you can see that these bullnose corners are um, done with a sheet rock. Okay, so this window, most of the time you'll see this, windowsill and apron, and then over here in this bedroom, This one here is a picture frame all the way around full encasement window, okay? So this is all encased with, with a MDF um, primed wood. So here's the closet, um, the bifold closet. Um, so that's what goes in here. And then it was pretty important to this owner to get a block or a, um, or like a kick block here kind of a decorative block in order, in order for the trim door trim to dive into it and also the baseboard to dive into it. So we are going to um, caulk up and we'll sand and seal and prime these edges and then repaint everything. All that should look really good. Um, these are all brand new white Decora switchers. Um, actually they're toggle. They're toggle switches. Um, and all new face plates and new electricals with the um, tapper resistant um, electrical. You can see that. Here's the kitchen. Remember all that oak? So what I did is I removed the door and the cabinet guy is gonna come in and redo um, uh, new doors. And what's cool about this, if you can get this here shot here, um, we're going to go through and just repaint all these face frames and these boxes, and then we're going to get new doors. Um, so that's what's going to take place here. So I pulled out all those doors, and um, they're sitting in the garage, and they're waiting for the new doors. So this, this kitchen will look completely different when we're done here. 